Well, good morning, everybody. I'm at the end of the Ashby Canal and it, I've moored up overnight here and it's been ever so peaceful, quiet, and the sun's come out this morning, it's been great. I've done my engine checks this morning, everything was fine, but I had to do some more checks on the boat because due to the shallow water, I really struggled to make a turn and I just clipped a bridge with the uh, front of the cratch cover there. Minimal damage, it's only temporary, it's not a problem, but it just goes to show that when the canal is really, really shallow and there's a big buildup of mud, it really does stop a boat turning. Um, I managed to scrub enough speed off to stop me having a massive collision with the uh, bridge. But yeah, tiny, tiny bit of damage. But I got away with it and we're okay. Well, if you do want to come to the end of the Ashby Canal, and I do advise a trip up here, um, when you get to the end here, this present terminus, there is an extra bit you can do of restored canal, but uh, it's only for boats up to 52 feet long because the winding hole isn't actually big enough to uh, support turning a larger boat. Anyway, uh, I'm going to press back now down to the Coventry side, um, which will at least take me a day, day and a half. Uh, and we're going to get past the Shackerstone Festival because that's going to get really, really busy. And I've got no chance of getting through, well, easily um, as the boats are turning up. Now, I wanted to set off really early this morning, but it was just such a nice morning. I took my time, had some breakfast, had a wander around and a quick look. Uh, but I'm going to untie now and set off. How about that for a posh mooring? Look at that look, two mooring poles, some steps down, a little bit further on, something even nicer. You can hardly see it, but it's just there, I'll show you. Look at that. Lovely little boat mooring. We head back into uh, Snareston Tunnel. Nothing coming, you can see just at the end there. I have to say, I think this is probably my favourite tunnel so far. Back out of the tunnel again into glorious sunshine. There's some more boats there, so I've got to slow down a bit. Just knock it back down to tick over. Come out into the wall. The, the tunnel is actually quite cool. Uh, and the sun beats down. Fantastic, yeah, definitely so far. Snareston Tunnel. My favourite one so far. Well, more has arrived for the Shackleston show. The big wheel arrived now. That wasn't there when I come by. And it is getting busier. There's a lot more boats moored up. Looks like it's going to be a big event. Just let that boat through. He's going much quicker than me. And on a canal that's quite shallow like this one, he's not dragging or touching the bottom as, as much as I am so he's getting through quite quickly and also it has the advantage of he'll meet the traffic coming the other way before me and hopefully warn them that I'm coming and yeah it might work out for the better. Ordinarily he wouldn't beat me because I've got lister power but uh, you know I'm in no great hurry honest. Just uh, behind me just that boat in the distance there that's one of my viewers, he's just, as I've come by, he's recognised me, a guy called Gary Stacy. Hello and thank you for watching. Well, I've moored up in the same place I did yesterday for lunch because um, it's a nice mooring. It is a little bit tight to get in because I'm scraping the bottom still. But uh, it's a nice place and I'm going to stop and get myself refreshed, have something to eat. Now, it hasn't been that smooth leading up to this. I've been passing a lot of historic boats heading up to uh, Shackerstone for the festival. And they've all been really, really nice people. Um, and it's nice to see the old boats, except for one. Um, a bit further up the canal there, there's a tree fallen across the canal. And it doesn't stop you getting through, and it, but it does restrict things slightly. And the Ashby Canal is quite shallow. Um, one of the historic boats came in and hit me quite severely actually, but fortunately he's hit me on the reinforcing strut, which is the strongest part of the front of the boat, so he sort of bounced off me. They make these Harbour Marine boats really strong. Uh, but then he proceeded to tell me uh, that I have to give way to historic boats. 
Now, I've got two issues with that. Firstly, that's a load of rubbish. You don't have to give way just because they're historic boats. And secondly, if I'm already in the restriction, exactly where am I supposed to go? I had the boat hard up against the bank one side, actually up on the, the mud, uh, in reverse, trying to uh, scrub the speed off and make the best of this situation, but there was nowhere for me to go. Yet he chose to just keep going forward and actually turned into my path. So he brought the accident about. Um, we exchanged words and I told him in no uncertain terms that I don't have to give you right away just because you're an old boat. Um, you got it wrong. Um, and then I told him where to go and how to get there. Uh, so if this ever happens to anybody, I've heard of this sort of thing happening before where one or two, maybe even the same bloke, have been telling people because they're historic boats, they automatically have the right of way. This is not the case. Um, whoever's in the restriction or there first basically has to go through first because there's nowhere for them to go, which is what happened in my case. So I hope this chap learns from his mistakes. Now, should I mention his name or the name of the boat anyway? I probably should because it was a disgusting display of boatmanship and then to cover up his mistake, he tried to tell a lie about it. So uh, maybe I should. Hmm. We'll see. Well, the sun's out. Uh, it's really hot today, but the canal's very, very busy because of the uh, Shackerston Festival. Uh, historic boats, people visiting, and they're passing me at the most awkward places, you know, narrow bridges, nasty turns. It's just the way that it's going. But uh, we're out of the worst of it now. We're into the better side of the canal. The Coventry end is just much better than the other end. Uh, it's a little bit deeper now, so we're making reasonable progress although it is very, very shallow at the side. So we can just sit back a bit, relax a bit more and uh, enjoy the cruise. Uh, when it comes to your favourite canal side houses, this has got to be one of my favourites. A nice little house back there, little field out the front. But just look at that enormous workshop. Wow, you could get up to a lot of trouble in there. about me done on the Ashby Canal. I'm just heading out towards the end towards Coventry Canal now. Uh, my view on the Ashby Canal, well, it's a brilliant piece of canal. It's twisty, it's turny, it's entertaining. Just don't go on the Shackleston weekend. It was very, very busy. And one guy crashing into me is not going to ruin my experience on the Ashby Canal and I'll certainly be returning. Right, in the meantime, take care and I'll see you soon.